Be ready to write before you sit down, right? You sit down and go, I need an idea, I need an idea. Don't do that because that's the last place you're going to get an idea, okay? So what you want to do is have raw material and song starters ready before you get started. Lists of titles, lyric phrases, music files, melody ideas, chords, and grooves. So you can just grab a groove and throw it in there. Have a bunch of them, right? Have a whole bunch of files ready to go. Just little bits of things is enough. And of course, a title or a core idea, a central idea, is a great way to start because you can write the rest of your song from that title or idea and use it as a beacon or focal point to keep you on track for the rest of your song. Here's a list of some, I call them core ideas. Um, you could also call them themes if you want to. Um, themes, doesn't, that doesn't mean anything to me. I don't know what a theme is. Uh, maybe it means different things to different people. But core idea, that says it all to me. That's your central idea of your song, right? The central idea of your song. So um, here's some central ideas for you. I got a few listed here. This is the happiest day of my life. Core idea number two, you broke my heart. Number three, we're going to party all night. Number four, I never loved like this before. And number five, I will overcome this challenge. Now, you've heard dozens of songs for the, each one of those core ideas because they're very common core ideas, right? And that also means that they're common scenes in film and TV because common experiences for people are what television is for the most part about you'll see these common scenes over and over and over. We also write songs about them because people can relate to them. They're common, right? So you want to pick one of those because not only can people relate to your songs, but also they'll work well for film and television. So pick your core idea, okay? And then um, look for the groove that goes with that core idea, okay? If it's, I will overcome this challenge, then it's going to be a, a swaggering kind of groove or a strut groove. Um, if it's a party song, we're going to party all night long, then take a look at some of those songs out there that are party songs like Sia's um, Cheap Thrills is a really good party song. Um, and it's got this tropical house, boom, chaboom, boom, chaboom. It's got a great tropical house beat underneath it. So you might want to keep a loop of a tropical house beat among your music files so that you can get going on a party pop song right away. You can change it later if you want or look for something else. But to get going, to not sit there wasting time, having a few rhythm grooves like this one is a big help.